Hi everybody, welcome to episode 2 of Guitar Adventures with Joe and Mark. Um, as you've seen from the last episode, we've taken our guitar apart, we've taken all the hardware off, and now we're going to start the process of sanding it down. Rub, rub! We've been to our local hardware store, um, and we've bought some sandpaper, and we've bought some attachments for a sander that I found in my DIY box, I'm not quite sure what that was doing there. Um, but we're going to start and take some of the finish off the guitar. We're going to start with the back, because that looks like the most solid piece of wood on this uh, somewhat flimsy guitar. Um, and we're going to see how we get on. Joe is going to take the screws out of the neck joint, because we're going to get that away first. And then we're going to start away with sanding the body. Alright, we'll see you in a bit. See ya. So as you can see we're starting to get through the finish on the back of the guitar quite quickly. We're using a, a 40 grade sandpaper just at the minute to lift a lot off. Um, and it's we're actually starting to see some grain which is kind of nice. I'm being quite careful and trying to avoid going too hard on the area around the neck joint and around the, um, the two cavities for the electronics because I don't really want to be digging into there to make the back plates fit when I need to. Um, but actually it looks quite positive, we've got some wood um, which we might be able to do something with. So we'll come back to you in a bit when we've got a bit more of this paint on. Okay folks, so that's the first sand and as you can see actually sanding all that thick black paint has exposed quite a nice piece of wood um, under there. Better for a table than a guitar though. Better for a table than a guitar as Joseph would say. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to a much finer grain of sandpaper um, and just pick up these few little bits where there's still little bits of paint that are obviously got a little bit embedded in the wood. See if we can just lift those out. But actually we might revise our initial plan and use some kind of stain or something on the back um, and then we've got to see what's happening on the front. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Okay, well that's a good first sand on the back. Um, and as you can see, actually the wood looks pretty all right. There's just one patch there where I've gone a bit deep with the sander, um, trying to get a, a piece of paint that obviously embedded itself in the grain, um, similar to that, and got a bit deep. But what I will do over time is I'll get some sandpaper and just do it by hand and see if we can raise that out. But actually, I think we might put some that's kind of- That's a success. That's definitely a success. And I think we'll put some kind of stain or varnish or something on the back. Um, and uh, I think that'll look quite nice. Now, we're going to have a look what happens on the front. Okay, well the front's coming up pretty well as well. Um, I'm just being a bit gentle around the studs for the bridge. Um, so I'm going to sand them by hand because I don't want to get too much of a shine on them. Um, but actually again, the front's come up a lot better than we were expecting. Um, so we'll maybe have to revise our opinions of what we're going to do with it. But uh, fingers crossed it'll keep coming up nice. So uh, I'm going to move on to a finer sandpaper and we'll see you in a bit. Okay. Couple of hours down the line, a lot of dust. Sorry, Mark. Um, but we've got all of that black paint off the body. Got to do the neck and the headstock um, next, but that can wait for another day because uh, it's fairly late in the evening now. Thank you, um, um, We're just going to show you what it looks like. Um, once we've got it all finished, um, and I'll probably give it another another go on my hand uh, with some finer sandpaper. We're then going to decide what to do with it, what colour or what stain or whatever. Um, it's come off a bit better than I think we were thinking. Um, so it gives us some things to think about. But uh, I'm going to finish this by putting a few shots of the guitar as it now looks. Um, and when you see us next, we'll be thinking, paint. Hey. 